as we passed the bonding bill, uh, those of us in our caucus, Republicans, were obviously uh, disappointed that the majority in both the House and the Senate uh, just uh, ignored the governor's uh, concern about uh, preserving the overall cost of the bonding bill, and they put in place uh, a bill that had projects that were about a hundred million, more than a hundred million dollars beyond that that three percent. Uh, debt service cap. And this is important because we have for 20 plus years, uh, not as a matter of statute, but as a matter of policy, said that we are going to only incur debt, the maximum amount would be about 3% of the general fund. And we do that so that we can send a signal to the bond markets and other places where the state borrows money that we're fiscally responsible and that we're not incurring debt beyond our capacity to uh, sustain it. And that's what he asked for, given the recent uh, downturn in the economy and the projections of revenues, we had to adjust the original expectations of the bill down to about $825 million. And the uh, majority, of course, ignored that, and they filled the bonding bill with a number of uh, projects, many of which, frankly, in my opinion, and I think opinion of our caucus, were really not truly uh, statewide concern and uh, were probably questionable on that score. Um, so as they passed that bill, uh, and it was essentially a partisan vote, uh, the governor, of course, uh, was concerned about that, and, and some of us thought, well, maybe the governor will just absolutely veto the bill. Uh, I frankly believe it would have been better had he done that and turned the process back to the legislature and said, you guys have to do your work. But I think, uh, in retrospect, what he was trying to do was send the signal to the state and to the legislature that he's willing to work with us and that he would uh, do the hard work, if you will, and, and do the line item vetoes that would bring the bill back into an overall structure that is acceptable in terms of the debt service limit. And so he did that. He vetoed actually, I think it was 52 specific projects and a total of about $208 million in cost. Uh, many of those projects, uh, I think uh, we should be honest and say many of them were in districts that are represented by uh, Democrats, which is not unusual. Uh, whenever you turn over a bill that is in excess of what the governor expects and the governor has to uh, veto it, uh, the likelihood is he's going to cons consider the projects that affect his uh, party's members more favorably than the other party. Uh, some folks may not like that, but that's the nature of politics in the same way that the bill itself. If you look at the bill, there are very few projects in that bill that were put there at the request of Republicans. There were some, but most of them were uh, projects that the Democrats had more interest in than the Republicans. So I think in the context of the overall economy of the state, and the concerns that citizens have about uh, living within our means. All of us as individuals, families, businesses are faced with uh, uncertain economic times, at least in the short term, and, and we're all trying to find ways to make sure that we're not going to uh, completely turn ourselves upside down financially. And the state should be concerned about that as well. And I think the governor was wise to say, let's stick with this limit. I think the legislature was uh, more concerned about the upcoming election in the House and the politics of of the bonding project and were less interested in the overall fiscal picture. And so they turned over a bill that they were in effect uh, uh, asking the governor to help them uh, get out of the problem by uh, exercising his line item veto, which he did do. And, and in many ways, I think the, the majority party ought to be grateful to the governor for uh, helping them solve their problem. They didn't have to figure out which of their projects they were going to delete. Uh, they let the governor do it. So. Uh, I think uh, uh, this is probably as good a result as you could hope for. It does preserve the important piece, which is uh, the total cost of the bill is within the, the scope of what uh, we need to have it be.